everybody. Um, we all have that friend who answers the question, what show should I go and see? And for many people, I am that friend. For the last eight years, I've had a Google Doc of every show I've ever seen in a rated order. And when people say, what should I go? I just send them a link to that. Eventually, that doc turned into a web page because it was easier to link to, and it looked a bit prettier. And the one question that we got was, oh, I wish I had a list like that. So we created that. A web page turned into a website, and friends and family were invited to create their own. But they were all wrong. They all had terrible opinions on theatre. <laughs> and then I thought, maybe it's, maybe it's me that's wrong. So why don't we take all this information that we have on their, their opinions, the wrong ones as well, and create an encore with them. Thank you very much. And then we can create a list of the 100 greatest shows of all time. And that's what we've got there. And you can see, we can see that Lion King's number three. We can go through, we can see it's currently on tour and it's on in London. Book, book tickets nice and easy. So that answers the question, what show should I go and see? But it answers so much more than that. The, the data that we have is valuable, so we can actually have a customised experience for every person. If you want a specific experience, we can recommend stuff to you. But what else can it do? Because once people had added what they'd already seen, the next thing they wanted was the things that they booked. And yes, a calendar is trivial to, to, to talk about, but when you're spending hundreds of pounds on theatre tickets a year in advance, and then, I, I don't know if you know this at the moment, but theatre's a little bit iffy, shows get cancelled, people get forgotten. You need something you can trust that says, this show's moved, this show's been cancelled. You're going to a show today, just to remember, don't book anything. I'm going to be honest, nobody asks for gamification, but I love it. And as somebody who loves theatre, I love to show off that I love theatre more than you. So you get badges for going to see shows, going to see the same show multiple times, visiting different venues, because we're trying to... Uh, there's 18 theatre roles in the UK, did you know that? And you get a badge for visiting as many as you can. Friends, everybody got friends, we're not going to talk about that. Um, there's something sad about when your favourite show closes. Um, or your favourite actor leaves. And that's, that's what makes theatre so beautiful, that it's finite, that it ends. But it, but, it, but it starts again, because new shows happen all the time, and your favourite actor moves into other things, or director. And so we created Follow Spot to allow you to say, I want to know what they're doing. I, want to, I'm, I love Kinky Boots. If that is only anywhere in the UK, I will go and see it. And so that's what we allow you to do. We're an alert system. New show recommendations, what new experiences do you want? Did I mention the Onca rhythm? It powers all of that. What else? So we have this list of cast, we have this list of creative, we have this list of productions that have ever been to, all manually done. We go back to 1937 uh, in some cases. We've got every venue that we've tried to get in the UK, over 500 at the moment, with all the listings that they've got. One second. Um, we've accidentally created the IMDB for UK theatre. That's Stress Circle, thank you. Thank you, Tom. Uh, I've got a couple of questions. Uh, uh, in terms of, I mean, it sounds like you've already put a fair amount of time and work into this and collected quite a bit of data. Yes. Yeah. And is it, uh, are you, is that via financing or is that something, I mean, have you... Uh, uh, no, this is all 100% me, my wife, my daughter who's six, so she's useless at this sort of stuff. She can't even copy and paste. <laughs> um, and a couple of friends. We have, we have a complete crowdsourcing stuff available where you can get points for doing stuff, but it's very much like the two of us, right, what feature can we build next? What feature can we do? So you have to pick and choose. But yeah, everything has been 100% manual. There's no APIs for theatre at the moment. If anybody wants to build, if anybody on live stream wants to build one, let me know. <laughs> So is, it, is the intention to basically turn and make this into kind of like the central UK theatre resource that if you is, is the kind of first stop that anyone goes to? Yeah, so there's two parts. Number one is people that want to just experience theatre. What shall I go and see? What's on tonight? Yeah. But we're all about being a community for theatre people because yeah. if there's one thing theatre people love more than going to the theatre, it's talking about the theatre. And so why don't we enable that? Yeah. And so by, by using the theatre community to help power the normal people who don't obsess and think about it every single day, yeah. that's what we're going for. Okay, cool. So, I mean, to some extent, the what should I see is kind of the, the gateway drug, if you will, One, to, 100%. Kind of, to get people into the community. And then going from that, right, what's next? Do we then move into music? So we have all this database of live entertainment. Ideally, we want to be, we want a dress circle for music. We want a dress circle for comedy. We want a dress circle for magicians, because yeah. there's more magicians in the UK than you think. Right. They're hidden. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, Dom, thank you so thank much. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you.